you're not running a daycare. You're working with adults. If you're not hiring people that you can trust, they shouldn't be on your team. How do you manage that internally for your people to make sure that, you know, there is a level of trust because they are performing to expectations? You all might be dealing with knowledge workers. That's why I work with corporate America, right? So people who, you know, there are salespeople, but people who are basically like producing ideas, you know, not necessarily like widgets that you can count, but like they're delivering on projects or they have some sort of operational role where they, you know, are responsible for a process or a product or a team or something like that. So yeah. How do you measure their worth, <laughs> their value right. to your bottom line? And I think it really is like clearly defined expectations. The best way to figure out what your people need is to ask them and to listen to what they say when they respond. Like we're past the point of assuming what people need and we're way past the point of one size fits all management. You know, modern management models were born out of the, you know, industrial revolution where people were creating widgets. And unfortunately, one of the byproducts of that is that human resources were seen the same as all of the resources. So interchangeable, replaceable. And I'm hoping we're at the point in a new revolution where that's no longer the case. Like you guys are all like every single one of you would say that you're unique and individual and have individual thoughts and your personality and your backgrounds and all of that makes you bring something very specific and special to the work that you do. And it's the same with your team. So I think Jerry, for success, for remote working, where you can't sit and watch people, what they're doing and, and checking in on them all the time. First of all, please do not get those tracking mechanisms. I'm sorry if you have them. If you do stop spending money on it and delete it immediately, like you're not running a daycare, you're working with adults. If you're not hiring people that you can trust, they shouldn't be on your team. That's the long and short of it, but talk to them. Like what, what do they need to be successful? You know, where do they want to be doing their work from? That's what we did at Insprint. So we don't do annual performance reviews. We, you know, check in with people regularly, but we formalized it a bit more as we were going into our next phase of growth in 21. And we asked the team, we're like, what do you want to do? And so our performance review system is like a choose your own adventure. Did you guys read those books? Like, I, I loved those, but like, you know, you get to like, then you go back and be like, oh no, but what if I had chosen this? It's not quite like that, but we, we basically have a point system. And so we have the, the leadership team came up with certain expectations. You know, if they're working on billable client work, for example, what percentage billable their team is at any given time, you know, that's kind of consultancy stuff. So we have quantitative measures. We also have some qualitative measures in there. Like how happy is your team? And then we have different ways of asking the team those questions as well. Um, internal, you know, are, did you do a lunch and learn for the greater good of the organization? And so we got to negotiate that and it, you know, every quarter we'll sit down and we'll go through their points tracker and we'll figure it out. And based on that, they're eligible for performance bonuses at the end of the year. So it's fine. And it's, you know, then they feel like they're in control and those expectations are still clearly laid out with being, you know, super over-engineered or formal about it. In today's day and age with technology and asynchronous tools, you can do your work from anywhere and at any time and still be super effective.